So recently, the NVIDIA released a app called the NVIDIA app. It's in beta. But for those people who doesn't know what this is, this is a new app by NVIDIA, which is going to replace the NVIDIA GeForce Experience app plus the NVIDIA control panel. Yes, all in one app is coming finally. And it looks like it is much better than the NVIDIA control panel that we used to know. Actually, we still know this, but this is actually the time to say goodbye to this thing because it is slow as hell. All right, it's really slow and it doesn't look that good. So this thing is being replaced. If you're my regular viewer, then you know that I hate using NVIDIA GeForce app because for me, it's just a bloat. And to get the uh, updates for my graphics driver, I actually use third party tools like for example, right now I'm using the NV update tool. This is a tiny program which gives me all the latest update of NVIDIA drivers. But I think now I am actually going to use the NVIDIA app because this looks promising. All right. So let's actually download it together and install it. This is also my first time installing it because I have been just waiting for other people's reaction. And I, as far as I know, it looks like this is a pretty good app for nvidia users all right download it now let's install it and let's go through the installation experience all right it looks good agree and continue okay it actually installed quickly i just had to agree to the term and conditions and i'm good so i actually use the nvidia studio drivers because i find those drivers more stable than the game ready drivers really cool i like it that you can choose in between game ready and studio driver optimize games and creative applications and uh, no I, i'll do my own optimization right enable nvidia overlay eh, let's turn this off i think we can enable it later and guess what you don't have to log in it's good to see that we don't actually have to sign in to use this app finally i like it so this is the home page here you see all your you know games and apps and all that and news and everything I like it we have a driver section here uh, we download the drivers plus we can switch in between the game ready driver and studio driver like it already and you can also see the change logs of the latest you know uh, drivers now let's go to the graphics option now I like this okay this section is this the control panel the nvidia control panel but much faster much better looking and all that you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> so this is basically this so this new app contains everything the geforce experience plus the nvidia control panel i already like it here you can optimize all your games and everything and it will actually auto detect all your games and apps which is great uh, compared to the NVIDIA control panel. Here you can see this is the program settings and uh, okay, I, I don't like that. Okay, <laughs> This is simplified plus, wow, I like it already. Okay, And we also have the global settings. Since this thing is still in beta, there are a few settings that are missing from the control panel. So yeah, I think they are slowly adding all the settings and you know, they are shifting the entire NVIDIA control panel over to the NVIDIA app. I actually like this. Okay, look at this. We also have a description of each settings, like what it does and everything. Wow, this is so much better than the NVIDIA control panel. Now let's go into the settings. In system, we see all the info about our uh, operating system plus our graphic cards, drivers. And here we can enable or disable the nvidia overlay and we also have a game filter and photo mode i actually never never used a nvidia geforce app and its overlays so i can't tell much about this but i'm pretty sure there are many new features in this tool uh, i have seen some videos in this and they look amazing absolutely amazing actually i want to test the nvidia overlay oh alt z i have been pressing Control z actually <laughs> okay alt z and here we have the new nvidia overlay like it already okay it, it feels smooth look at that okay if you don't need it you can turn this off but you know this is actually good okay we have gallery where we see all the recorded files and everything record option instant replay 
screenshot, photo mode, game filter. So there are actually 20 presets that we can choose from RTX, dynamic, vibrance, sharpening, colors, colorblind and all that. And uh, I don't know how to use this properly. <laughs> okay. Good, good KB, good. You're doing a great tutorial here. Let's open these stats thingy. Let's show it. Okay, this is the overlay. I'm going to have to go full screen. Wait. Okay, here we can see the FPS, CPU and GPU usage. And I think we can also configure it. Oh, we have a view section here. This is set to basic. Now we go advanced. We have more info. Okay. We have custom. Wow, there are so many things we can select. I like this. Maybe someday when I'm recording the games, I will use this. But for now, I don't think I need it. But overall, my reaction to this is it's fantastic. Yes, finally, I don't need to use a third party app to update my NVIDIA drivers. Plus, I don't need to use the NVIDIA control panel and again this is still in beta so that means maybe there are some bugs here and there and uh, there are some settings missing that you find on nvidia control panel so if you want a full better experience maybe you just wait for the stable version and then install it but for me it is already good <laughs> i just need the nvidia updates plus you know i don't mess around with the nvidia control panel that much usually i just change your settings and i just leave it there now it's your turn let me know your thoughts in the comments what do you think about this and yeah that's it if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye